They told you what it is already, and there it is. It's down 35%. Right. I'm guessing that's the worst day ever for this name. Well, it's so, one of the worst days ever for me. <laughs> so what do you do yeah. on a day like this, Jenny Harrington? So I think, you know, the one thing that makes it so much better is being on live TV and getting to talk about it. Ha ha. Um, you know, and for those of you who followed me, and I'm really sorry, when I, when I initially bought this, I went back to 2007 and looked at what happened to their earnings and revenues in a huge, long, sustained recession. And what I saw was that they actually grew, both the revenues and the earnings grew through the great financial crisis. So I thought, okay, even if we have a recession, these earnings should sustain at some level that easily covers that dividend. And it should have. I think we have a real management problem. And Scott, you asked me a month or two ago when we were talking about this, why is there such a big valuation gap between O'Reilly, AutoZone, and Advanced Auto? And I said, well, it's the management. They have a much worse management team. But I thought that that had been over discounted and I think what I really screwed up on here was frankly not understanding how bad this management team is because AutoZone announced last week they also had a little bit of revenue growth their margins were fine earnings were fine advanced autos margins were horrible and earnings were horrible because I think they were way 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 too aggressive on pricing and um, and so then they've you know not only did they do a bad job on earnings but then they screw and alienate the shareholder base who's in there for the dividend for the fact that two years ago they started this huge capital return share policy where they're saying like look we've got really consistent cash flow even in a even in a recession you know people hold on to their cars longer it's a pretty economically insensitive product line that we have and that didn't play out at all. So what do I do from this point here? Well, I think the shares are oversold. And I, I would look at this and I'm like, why doesn't it just get taken private? I mean, it's clearly a decent business and a decent business line with, I think, a terrible management team. And so now my job is to minimize the loss for my clients. It's, it's going to be a loss, but I don't think down 35%. I don't think trading at $78 a share is rational. I think there are still earnings. The $6 that they guided to for the rest of the year, I'd imagine is trough earnings. You can look way back. The last time they earned that was in 2017. It's simply a bigger, better business than it was then. So if we assume $6 earnings on an 80-ish dollar share price, you have a decent value. I think that's probably trough. There's still value here. So obviously I need to sell it because I run a dividend income portfolio, but I don't need to do that today. So I will sell it and I will replace it. Right, because they cut, they cut the dividend by 83% for a quarter. Sorry, I should have led with a, that. From $1.50. Yeah, which is really the terrible part, right? Like you had this whole shareholder base who was in it for that dividend, for the capital return, and now you've alienated them. So the growth buyers aren't going to buy it. The dividend players don't want to own it. So now you need to wait for the deep value kind of, um, you know, for that crowd to come in and say this thing's really distressed. Um, one other thing on this, sure. I think people really worry about like, oh my God, it cut its dividend. But if you own a portfolio of 30, 35 stocks and you're counting on that for the dividend yield, think of it as if you're managing a business. If you have a business and you have 30, 35 employees, one's going to quit on you every year. That is not insurmountable. You just hire a new one. So in this case, like you don't really freak out. You know, thankfully it was a reasonable size position. It wasn't that big. It wasn't that small. It's just average. So it stings. It's not derailing. So we fire advanced auto and we buy something new. Thankfully, I have something new teed up.